So one of the things I'm learning on my journey um, is taking responsibility and accountability. Um, the reason why I'm saying that today is um, I got news that with my application, I didn't quite um, send the right stuff for my insurance. Um, so I got ins business insurance and everything, and they needed a certificate of uh, insurance or proof of insurance. Um, and my insurance guy gave me, you know, this little packet, which is just confirmation of insurance. And, um, you know, I asked him, you know, you know, I showed him the email that I, what I needed. And he said, yeah, this is good. But something to me didn't think it was the right thing, but I believed my guy and I sent it. Well, now I'm waiting on him to send me the right, the, the COI, the certificate of insurance. And from what, uh, guy at the state chemist is saying up in Indiana is it's going to take me um, it'll probably be two weeks before I hear anything back about uh, my business license which is just postponing my um, me starting out on my business which you know everything's fine but I got that itch I'm ready to go and I'm you know getting every all the ducks in order but I'm just I'm just ready to go but I have nobody else to blame but me. You know, I could blame the insurance guy, but in reality, I knew it wasn't right and I let it go anyways, and now I'm paying the consequences. So bottom line is, the biggest thing is always take responsibility. If your employee messes up, when you, if I got employees, you know, I can't blame myself. Uh, I can't blame them, I gotta blame myself. I didn't train them right, I let something slide, or whatever the case may be. And the biggest thing I'm, um, you know, reflecting and looking back on now is, you know, my departure from my previous employer. Um, you know, I, I tendered my resignation. I gave my two weeks notice, but in reality, I didn't quit. I got fired. I got fired because it wasn't the right fit for me and I wasn't the right fit for the company. Now, starting out, you know, when I was going to take the managerial role, I should have pushed harder and forced a conversation with um, my boss, the owner, about what his expectations are, what his expectations were, and um, make that like a priority to because. Um, Make that a priority because that's um, what's what I'm trying to think of. Um, I knew who I am. I'm not a yes man. I have ideas. I have opinions, and you know I have a way of running things. I knew the owner had a way of running things, and I. Sh you know, we should have set expectations. He should have set expectations and I should have had expectations set for what was going to happen and what, you know, my game plan is, my goals are, and what his goals are and align them in the middle somewhere. And I dropped the ball on communication. So that's my fault. But with all that being said, you know, I have no hard feelings. Um, you know, it's everything, you know, it's in the long run, I think it's going to be better for me just starting out on my own, starting my own company. I really didn't want to start our own company, but I feel like my hands are forced. And so this is my new chapter in my life. But the quickest thing I'm learning right now, and, you know, I think I learned that from my dad too, is, you know, you take responsibility. You didn't, you didn't quit. You got fired. You know, you didn't get laid off. You got fired for whatever reason. You weren't you were the easiest person to let go for whatever reason. If you make yourself non-expendable, people will keep you. Your businesses will keep you. But I didn't show myself, you know, I showed myself expendable. And so here I am. But it's a new chapter in my life and probably will be for the best. So who knows what this crazy journey called life is going to take me. Um, but I'm excited to see and I'm willing to show, you know, you and the whole world my experience and my journey in the journey. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll holler at you guys later. 
um, and have a great weekend.